Good morning, everyone. We are talking about lattes this morning, so I thought I would make up um, a latte here on video to show you because I was going to make one anyways. Um, so I've decided to make up the eggnog latte or eggnog tea. Um, some of some people are like eggnog tea, but it actually is really good. It smells delicious. It smells really good. So the ingredients are black tea and green tea, cinnamon, cinnamon bits, orange peels, nutmeg, and natural flavors. Um, and it's just a really nice one. Um, so to make up a latte, in our catalog, we have a page of latte blends. Um, and those are usually made up um, in a steeping sack for only 20 seconds. Like they don't take very long at all. Um, and they're really good. The London Fog and the Caramel Rooibos are my favorite out of those blends. Um, and then, but any of our teas can make lattes. Like actually some of my favorites to make lattes are the black teas and the queer teas. Um, they make excellent lattes and there's so many, like raspberry Earl Grey is my top favorite ever. So if ever you want to try a tea, that's a good one to try. But anyways, this is our double bubble cup. It comes with or without the universal infuser. And to make a latte, it's so easy. So you just put in, you want about half, um, half water, half froth milk. So you just put in a half of the water. You can put, use a steeping sack in here. I'm using the universal infuser. And then you put your scoop of tea in. Now, if you want a strong tea, put in more tea. Don't steep it longer because steeping it longer just makes it go bitter and then the taste is off. Add more tea, but steep for the recommended time. And green tea is, it says to steep it for two minutes and you can steep it up to three times. So this um, cup of tea here, um, tea leaves, I can just keep them in the tea, in the tea timer in the infuser and I can steep it two more times so I can have two more lattes <laughs> um, you just set the tea timer and while that is steeping I'm going to make the magic happen with the frothed milk so this is our party milk frother it's one of my favorite tea wear tools ever I always use skim milk in mine because it works excellent but you can use like one percent Oat milk um, gets nice and foamy. Um, almond milk depends on the brand, but I've had almond milk get nice and foamy. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, this is our gingerbread matcha stick. It's a sweetened matcha and it is so good. So I'm going to just add this into my milk. So I'm having an eggnog tea with some gingerbread matcha in the milk. This is our matcha whisk, and I'm just going to quickly whisk this up in here. Oh, the matcha smells so good. I wasn't sure how I would like the gingerbread matcha. I haven't tried the unsweetened one, which comes in the 100 gram bags. I've only tried the sweetened one in the matcha stick, but it's so good. Okay, that's nice and foamy. Now what else I'm adding, you guys, is some rum chata. This gives it kind of a nice cinnamony type flavor. So I'm just gonna add a capful. And these taste excellent with Bailey's, with Frangelica, which is like a hazelnut liqueur. Um, pumpkin Bailey's, if you're making like a, the pumpkin cozy swirl chai, which is a black tea. Um, so many delicious options like you can just have so much fun with these and then what's awesome is that you can make like the rooibos caramel rooibos latte is um that's our tea timer this is done uh the caramel rooibos is um a naturally caffeine free so you can make any of those into lattes and i quite often make some of the herbal teas into a lattes um so honestly you guys the sky's the limit you can make so many different yummy flavors so you can, this is where you would add some sweetener if you want to. Um, I might actually just add some sugar, just a sec. Since uh, you can add honey here, you can add, I like to add organic cane sugar. Um, so I'm just gonna sweeten mine up a little bit. I probably didn't really have to because the, um, 
gingerbread matcha is a little bit sweetened and the milk goes into the, kind of goes down, it doesn't all sit on top of you. Mix it all in. But this is where the fun happens. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. And I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit because I want the milk to go down into my tea. So this is eggnog tea, which is a black green tea. Um, within the froth milk, I have um, skim milk, gingerbread matcha, and rum chata. And now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top. And look at how delicious that is. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> mm. And I've got frothed milk and you can steep this two more times. So you can bet 